Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and welcome to another Pater Review. And today we're going to be tackling the three pound, one gram bag from Black Mass Paters, and I'm really excited to go into this. I've been wanting to review this for a while, but it always takes me a while to get the pay dirt shipped to somebody else and to me, but I finally got a bag in to review, and this is it. So let's just go flash up the description, and then we're going to go classify this down and pan it out and give it a review. So here's the description. As you saw, a really detailed description. I really enjoyed it. It tells you how much the bag weighs, where the pay dirt itself is from, as well as where the gold may come from. It also tells you that the gold will probably be pickers down to fines and nuggets maybe if you buy a bigger bag. I'm guessing the three gram bag is the only one you will probably find nuggets in, so I don't expect to find one in here. It also tells you it should be two to three pounds, not the three pounds I stated before. So two pounds, 6.8 ounces, that is within the two to three pounds they state. So let's just open this up, see what it looks like. And I'm really excited to be paying this stuff out. Looks a little dusty, but not too bad. And I will rinse this out as always before the final review. Pretty nice stuff, some bigger rocks in here. Some quartz, some larger stones, but nothing too major to really kill the weight of the bag. And let's see if there's anything magnetic in it. It doesn't really tell you in the description anything about black sands or magnetics. They do tell you they could add some Washington or Wisconsin. I think it's Wisconsin, they said. black sands to make it tougher but I wish they would tell you just generally for this one but it's not too bad just a little bit it doesn't look too heavy in black sands and as you saw there's not very much in magnetics so it should be rather easy to pan out but first we have to classify it down so I'm gonna let you listen to some music and we're gonna classify this down Okay, all done classifying everything down and looks pretty equal, maybe a little bit less in the minus 40 than anything else, but not too bad. I did see some gold in the plus 10, I will say that. I didn't see any, any other classification, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't think this will be a very big piece of gold. We'll have to see. I barely caught just the edge of it when I was classifying it down, but I'm gonna be really curious to find out where the gold is in fact. So let's go pan it out to find out. So have my water, have my pan, have my pay dirt, and let's just listen to some music. Start with the plus 10 and see what all this does to the water and what kind of gold we can find.
Well, all panned out as you saw, and that stuff was much more difficult than I thought it would be, but we will get into that later. For now, let's just show you the gold I found in the plus 10. I did find some gold. Three nice little pieces right there. They're all trying to stay together. There you go. So that was pretty nice. Much bigger gold than I really thought I would find. This bag was just full of surprises, I guess. In the minus 10, plus 20, even more gold. Again, a nice little pile. Probably about 20 little pieces in there. So not too bad. And now in the minus 20, plus 40, even more gold. Again, a nice little pile. Probably about 30 pieces in there. Maybe even a little bit more. And lastly, in the minus 40, even more gold. A nice little pile of minus 40. This is what I really, really didn't expect. I did not expect this much flower gold based on the description. I thought maybe one or two pieces, just natural little gold in there. So this was kind of surprising. But let's just weigh it all up to see in the plus 10. And again, I am guaranteed one gram in this bag. 0 0.5. 605, the minus 10 plus 20, 0 0.280, 0 .280. and in the, where is my, Minus 20 plus 40, 0 0.215, 0 0.225, sorry about that. Jumping the gun a little bit. And lastly, in the minus 40, this might be enough to budge the scale. zero point zero two five so let's just weigh it all up and see what the grand total is so definitely over a gram one point one four zero and i'm gonna be right back and we're gonna talk about the difficulty of this pay dirt now, for how difficult this pay dirt is, I would score it pretty high. It is pretty difficult pay dirt, which was surprising to me. I did not think there would be that much black sands in it and as much fine gold. So for a beginner painter, this is going to be some hard pay dirt to go through. For an advanced painter, this would be medium, right in the middle of medium too. Now for an expert painter, this again would be medium, but on the lower end of medium. So a little bit... If you don't find as much black sand in your bag, it might be closer to being easy. But it is overall a pretty difficult bag to go through, especially if you're a beginner. For everyone else, it'll be a nice challenging bag without being overly hard. So for a beginner, maybe not for you. But with the minus 40 gold here, even if you didn't recover it, you would still get a nice return. So it wouldn't be that bad if you didn't get it. But it still would be a hard bag to go through. So now let's just get to the ROI and the review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from blackmasspayderts.com. It was their two to three pound bag with a guaranteed one gram of gold. Its cost right here was $85. Shipping was free, so total cost $85. Now the gold I recovered again right here, 1.140 grams. Gold spot on the day this was received was $62.59, making this gold's value worth $71.35, which makes my ROI 83.94% or on my scale an 8.4 and that's a really good ROI nothing to complain about 
I will take an over 80% ROI any day of the week. So I was really happy with that. Now for fun factor, I'm bumping it up just a little bit to an 8.5. It wasn't anything super spectacular where it deserved a huge jump, but it was a really nice bag of pay dirt with gold in every classification. It had some, a little bitty nugget in there that I was not expecting, it had more fine gold in there than I was expecting. So now that I'm talking myself into it, I probably should have bumped it up higher than an 8.5, but it's an 8.5. Now for Pater Description, I'm giving them an 8. They do have a really detailed description. I really like it. The only thing I really think that was missing is probably something to do with how difficult this Pater is because there was a lot of fine gold in there as well as a lot of non-magnetic black sands, which can make a new Panner really struggle with this pay dirt. So maybe they should add a little something in there for their pay dirt telling people what, how difficult this stuff could be. But it's still a really good description. Now for quantity and packaging, they're getting a 10. 10 for quantity because it was over the two to three pounds stated. And for packaging, while it was in a coffee bag, which would typically get an eight score, they double wrapped it in a Tyrex envelope, which is one of the cheapest ways to double secure a bag of pay dirt for shipping because you can get them for free from the post office. So 10 for pay dirt quantity and packaging. For customer service and shipping, again, 10 all around. The shipping was extremely quick, and I mean extremely quick. I want to say two days from the day it was ordered until the day it was received, and they updated constantly through email as the shipment was getting ready, when it shipped out. They could even email them to tell them that they submitted, sent a wrong tracking number in one of the emails. So really good customer service all around. So total score for blackmasspaydirts.com's two to three pound bag with one gram of gold added is a nine and that's a really good score anytime a seller can get a nine or above score they're doing something right so this was a really fun bag of pay dirt to go through i really enjoyed myself so all that's left is to flash up the score and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime so let's just flash up the score right here Now, before I give away today's 24 karat gold plated dime, I do need to give a shout out to one of my newest Patreon members, and that's Robert Caldwell. So Robert, thank you very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else wants to help keep this channel going and wants to join my Patreon page, you can check me out at patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's going to go to Rich IP Demand. So Rich, Demand, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.